Hey guys, today I'm going to be uh, showing you a quick video on how I clean an old collar of mine. It's probably about uh, eight years old. And as you can see, it's pretty nasty. It's got a little bit of mold on the leather itself. So I'm going to take you through some of the steps that I do to, to clean this up and make it look brand new again. So first off, I'm going to be spraying uh, an alcohol and water solution. This is just going to be to basically try to remove some of the bacteria that's on the collar itself, remove some of the mold that's on there, and give it a good cleaning. So I'm going to put some alcohol on the cloth, and I'm just going to rub it into the leather really well. You want to get right into those grooves where all the bacteria can hide as well. So you want to just shift some of the leather up and just get right into the grooves. Okay, now that we've uh, cleaned it with some alcohol, what I'm going to do is just put some oil on it because we've removed some of the moisture from the leather because of the alcohol. So just pour a little bit of Neat's Foot is what I'm using. Put some on your sponge. And then just keep rubbing it into your leather this way. That way it's going to rejuvenate and still do some further cleaning. But it's going to add some uh, lost moisture because of the alcohol, alcohol evaporating on the leather. Some of the alcohol sucked a little more moisture out of the leather. So it's important to get that back into the leather. Make it nice and moist again. Carry on the back side with the oil as well. Really get it in there. Give it a good wipe, get rid of that excess oil, which gives it a bit more clean. And as you can see, it's already starting to improve things. And it removes a lot of that extra filth that's on there. So after I oil it and uh, just wipe off the excess, you're gonna see that you're gonna get some scraggly hairs like this. So what I do is just take a, a blowtorch like this, small blowtorch, and I very quickly, just go right over the edges of the thread and just eliminate some of that excess frayed string that's all around the collar. So very quickly. You don't want to put too much time on it or you just burn the leather. Now because as you can see, sort of the white thread that's been on there years ago has turned you know, quite dirty and filthy. What I'm going to do is just dye the collar in black just to cover everything up. Now you can certainly leave it the way it is if you prefer it this way, but I think I'm just going to make this whole process of the of rejuvenating this collar by adding uh, some dye to it, making it look brand new again, or try to make it look brand new again. So I'm just going to take the Phoebing's dye. It's an oil base, and I'm just going to dye the whole the whole collar all the way through. And don't forget to do the edges as well, nice and carefully. So on this old doll collar, you'll see that uh, the dog has got his teeth into it and it's sort of separating the leather there. So what, I, what I'll do is just snip that off so that the surface is a little bit more smooth. Get rid of these textures. What's left is a bit of a gouge there still, but we add a little bit of dye to it to finish it off, finish it off, and it adds a bit of character to the color, I think. 
it's kind of hard to mask that. We can't really fill that up, but we can certainly uh, make it look like it's a well weathered, characterized type of collar now. So what I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of metal polish. And I'm just going to rejuvenate the D-ring and the, the buckling area. I'm going to really try to spread it around the entire D-ring. Really try to get it polished up really well. Okay, so now that I've done that step of polishing the metal, I'm going to let it sit a little bit because the leather is still fairly moist from the oil. I'm just going to let that sit before I go into the next step. Now you can tell this, this is a certainly charactered uh, dog collar. It's got a lot of battle scars to it. So we certainly can't get rid of that, but I think it's going to add a little bit of character to the whole uh, spectrum of this dog collar. So I'm going to let it sit probably for about, for about half an hour before we move on to the next step. Okay, so now we let the collar sit for about a half an hour. We just let things dry up a little bit. And so all I'm doing now is just going to gently rub it with a sponge or a cloth. What I'm trying to do is just smoothen the leather out, give it a nice polish. I also mentioned earlier that um, I was using alcohol with water mix to clean the leather uh, and also followed by the oil. Now with these particular leathers that I'm going to show you here, you here, you do not want to do that. So these as you can see has a have a high gloss finish particularly in the white. You do not want to add alcohol or the oil to the white because it, it's just not going to be very effective. Um, it'll strip the white uh, dye on there, the process, uh, and it'll ruin the finish of these uh, patent leathers. Um, sort of a plasticky coat on the leather finish. It, it protects it already from the element. So you certainly don't want to get in there and remove that polish. So if these are ruined, then it's going to be a lot more difficult to rejuvenate uh, these type of leathers as opposed to basically a latigo leather or a harness type of leather such as this here. So what we're going to continue doing is just keep rubbing so that we polish the uh, leather up nicely before the next process. Okay, so once you're done rubbing the leather, what I'm going to do now is add a um, leather finish. And this is just called the Super Sheen. You can get this off any candy leather um, retail outlet or online. And so what I'm going to do is take some of this leather conditioner and finish and just put it over the leather itself. And I'm just going to let it sit in there and let it soak through. And what this does is just help it um, protect against a little bit of uh, moisture. It's not going to fully protect it against uh, the elements, but it'll, it'll give it that added extra layer of protection. And plus, it'll make uh, the leather stand out a little bit better. It'll give it a, a nice, uh, glossier finish. So we're just going to go ahead and apply that overall to the whole collar and just let it sit for a little while and then do probably two coats. Okay, so now that the sheen is dried on there, you can see that the leather is starting to take on some life here. You've got the shininess coming through. It's starting to take on some good character. I'm not quite done yet. So what I'm going to do now is add some mink oil. Now it comes in sort of a globby um, jelly oil like this, or you can apply um, a beeswax. Uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to apply, apply a mink oil and I'm going to shine up and polish the leather. And what this does is add an extra layer of protection against the weather. So it becomes a little bit more moisture resistant. So I'm going to go ahead and polish this up and uh, show you the finished product. So here is the finished product and you can certainly stop there and uh, you've basically rejuvenated your leather to the best you can. Now, of course, you're gonna have a lot of, I have a lot of scratches here because my dogs love to play with each other and play fight. But regardless, 
it's basically um, come back to life. Now I'm going to take it even one step further and define the stitching lines. As you can see, they sort of blend into one another here. Now I'm going to take it to my stitcher and take the next step. But you can certainly stop here and you basically address rejuvenating your collar again or your belt. But I'm going to take it one step further. Okay, so I've got the collar set up on my stitcher. And uh, all I'm going to do is run along the same line of the stitching. I haven't taken these, this thread out. I'm just going to go over it again just to clean it up a little bit. You can certainly remove it, but it's going to be a lot more painstaking. And uh, for the sake of just uh, making this video a little bit quicker uh, and the process quicker, I'm just going to go over the lines again. Plus, it's going to give it that extra bit of strength anyways. So I'm going to carry that on. Okay, so now I've completed the stitching and I've defined it a little bit better. So this is basically an 8 to 10 year old collar. I'm not quite sure, I don't quite remember the uh, total, the exact date, but it's looking pretty good considering where we started from. Of course, we can't get rid of those nasty marks there from the teeth and claws and stuff like that, but. That's basically pretty good. Good for another quite a few more years. Let me know what you guys think.